Shanghai, China's commercial center. Exports from the East Midlands to China went up by more than 20% last year. Huge potential. UK trade officials say the region's exports could double to a billion pounds in three to five years. A small Leicestershire firm is sending exports out here, cashing in on the beauty business. Downtown Shanghai shopping area. On sale in this department store, exports from Melton Mowbray. This beauty product was originally a treatment for cellulite in the UK, but Chinese women apply it as a facial mask for their complexion. The city people are looking for natural stuff, says shop worker Vicky. So this product could sell very well in the Chinese market. Back in Melton, this is the production line for what's been an unexpected export hit in China. Initial internet orders boomed. Then their own brand name, Base Formula, was registered in China by a Chinese national. All legal. There was a demand for 100,000 euros, around 80,000 pounds, to buy it back. Base Formula refused. They had to set up another trading name in China instead. If you don't know, then unfortunately you will learn the hard way. You will, you will pay a price um, for your mistakes. And I think it's fortunate for us that we found it relatively early on in the growth that we're experiencing in China. Shanghai is such an important business location that the UK has a trade console out here. Mm, gosh. Mm, sounds good. I showed him one of the Melton firm's products. He said brand name and other intellectual property rights problems are widespread. Strange as it may seem, uh, if they manage to successfully register uh, your intellectual property, your IPR, uh, and then you challenge that in a bid to try to, to get it back, uh, they could, uh, in theory, actually sue you uh, for infringing the intellectual property rights that they stole from you. Strange but true. It happens. <laughs> In Melton, Base Formulas had to spend £10,000 on its new trading name in China. They've changed to BF Aromatherapy. They've been on a Chinese shopping channel thanks to their distribution agent in China. And the name switch is going well. We've been able to convince those customers that our new trading name is the old company. So we've brought a lot of people with us, so that's been really great. Um, and the forecast is now, I would expect that we'll be doubling the business over the next 12 months in China. So yes, it, it's a huge success story. The UK government's export agency in the East Midlands admits that exports from our region to China are a drop in the ocean to what they potentially could be. And as exports grow out here, the Melton firm hopes others will learn from what they've been through to succeed in China.